Hey, it's Will. Today we're doing double exposures and we're gonna just hop right on in. This is one of those styles that's easy to learn and it only gets cooler and more complex the deeper you go. Today we're just gonna go over the basics, but let us know if you wanna go even more in depth in the future. So double exposures of course need two images. Typically those two things are a person and a landscape, which is what we're doing, but you can absolutely do something different if you'd like. So now that I have my subject and landscape where I want them with the landscape on top, I'm gonna hide it. Now I'm gonna click on the subject with the object selection tool. This looks pretty good, but I want to also highlight this open space here. So I'm gonna get my pen tool and draw a box like this and then press Command, Shift, Enter to add that space to the selection. Now I'm gonna make my city visible again and with it selected, I'm gonna make a layer mask. This makes it so every part of the city that wasn't highlighted gets hidden. Now I'm gonna go to blending modes and set it to screen. Almost done, now we just have to do some touch-ups. With my brush tool selected, I'm gonna go into my layer mask and tidy up some areas. Typically I like to make a decent portion of the face visible, especially the eyes, and I want to hide any lines or borders that might ruin the effect. Now for a little bonus, I'm gonna add a gradient. I'm just gonna stick with a simple white one and bring down the opacity to a point that I like. And that's how you make an easy double exposure. Thanks for watching. By the way, instead of creating this effect on your own, we have amazing double exposure templates already ready to go for Photoshop. All you need to do is import your photo into the template and within a second, your photo has the double exposure effect applied to it. You can check out our Photoshop templates with the link in the video description below.